GM, in this video, gonna show you how to stake your Solana. One of the best ways to do it right now as you are gonna be potentially earning a load of points for airdrops. And also the fact is you should be staking your Solana. It helps to secure the network and you're gonna get around 8% APY on your state sol position. So no real downsides to staking the sol. A lot of validators are pushing for this at the moment to increase network security. And so here we find ourselves on Sanctum, which seems to be the home of liquid staking tokens. So liquid staking tokens, what are they? These are representations of staked sol. So they're a liquid form of that. So rather than just vanilla staking your Solana, you stake it, there's an unbonding or unlocking time if you want to unstake it and you can't do anything with that sol. If you have an LST, you can still use the representation, the liquid stake token in DeFi and other applications and earn more yields. So let's just jump into this. This is Sanctum. This one is doing the rounds right about now as they are doing this quest over on their website. It's called Wonderland here and you may have seen this already. But essentially what this is, is a gamified way of getting people to utilize the various LSTs on Solana. So it's actively promoting people to use the various LSTs on here, not just their own. So their own is called INF, Infinite, and this is in fact a basket of other LSTs. So what you're going to see from the DAP here, we have this kind of farming area or this gamification area called Wonderland, and they've got these quests You'll also be able to see on here that there are a variety of the different LSTs which are part of the quest. You'll also see the characters on there as well. So each of these 18 LSTs in total have their own pets, they're calling them. So these pets you can power up by holding the various LST for lengths of time. Now the quests, this is quest one, which you will end later today. Essentially, all you have to do for quest one is hold some INF, the infinite LST. And I would suggest getting a basket of others as well to get you started up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But quest one was to just get to no infinite. So that is the INF token. And then quest two here will jump into in just a moment. But let's start off here with infinity. So if you click on the infinity tab, say you've got your wallet connected in the top right hand corner. Once you first come here and connect the wallet, it's going to ask you for a referral code, which I'll leave down below. Mine is H49T1S. Again, that will be down below. So just copy and paste that in. And once you're set up with that, you can use your referral code to refer others to this site as well and get a little bit of a kickback. So on here, you will have some salt in your wallet, hopefully, and you want to mint some of the LST called Infinite here of Sanctum. So what you would do is enter in the amount of sol you wish to do. So say you want to stake 0.1 sol, that's going to give you 0.08 INF back. But reading through the documents, they're suggesting that you want to hold a minimum of 0.1 of each of these LSTs. So that would be a conversion rate of around 0.12 sol into INF. So if you're happy with that, you click deposit into infinity and then confirm a transaction in your wallet by clicking confirm. Once that is done, you'll see your balance of INF down here go up. And once that is done, so you've minted some INF using Sol to get the others. So we saw there was 18 of them earlier. If you go to trade, here is where you can trade between any of these different LSTs. So I can even trade from the INF I just minted into another one down here, maybe the Helia state one. As you can see, I've got a balance of both of these. Essentially, what I would suggest doing is checking out the LSTs. So there's two things here of note. There's 18 on the Wonderland page, which sounds like those are the incentivized ones, or there's 30 in total that you can actually find on here. So if you wanna just start with the first 18, as per the docs, you need to hold 0.1 of these LSTs as a minimum. So the first thing I would do is go into Wonderland, go through each of these NFTs. As you can see, I've already bought some of those ones. The next one along here, and just do this systematically, go through to Bonksy. This is a bonked Solana liquid state token. Click on buy and trade some of my salt into Bonk Sol here and make sure I get at least 0.1 of each of these. So I would literally just go through for all 18, 
and add each and every one of them. So not gonna go through how to do that for each one. It's as simple as that though. Just get that balance above 0.1 for each of those initial 18 that you'll see here on the Wonderland page. So we'll just go through and nail each and every one of those. And you'll see that your XP starts to rain in. It's just ticking up 116, 117, so on and so forth. Then we have Community Quest 2. So there's a little bit of a puzzle in here, but we're just gonna give you the answer straight out of the gates. So it's asking for the answer to the kind of obscure question in here. The answer is even Star Cathedral. Check the answer. Hooray, you've completed this quest. So mint yourself some INF using Sol to get that LST. Quest one, do that ASAP. Then quest two, you can come in here and then type in that answer, even Star Cathedral, and then make sure you get this completion confirmation as per on screen here. So why do this? Well, we can see that Sanctum is the fifth largest TVL protocol on Sol right now. Of course, a lot of this TVL will be because people are trying to farm the rewards here. So of course, these numbers take them with a pinch of salt. But what we do know and why I think it is plus EV to actually get involved with this is Jita was the best airdrop we've had on Solana thus far. And so if Sanctum drops a token, we know that Jita did really well previously. So hopefully this one can also do well. It's not gonna do as well as Jito because the reason why Jito was an absolute banger was the fact that no one was really paying attention back then. So less people farming. Sanctum has raised 6.1 million, which makes me think token is coming. And also Helios, and you probably know about Mert online if you watch Lightspeed podcast or following or follow him on Twitter. The guys at Helios have also recently raised $9.5 million as well. And so this is the reason why I'm going to put more weight into Helios and Infinite LSTs. But that's all from today's video. Check out the link down below. Make sure you tap in the referral code and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.